Hey, what's up, you guys? It's March 15, 2021. It's 3 o'clock in the p.m. Um, so we are incredibly socked in right now. I haven't seen it like this in a long time where uh, we're just, we're just, uh, we're in the middle of all the clouds. Usually when they hit our mountain range, just to the uh, south and the west, they'll, you, they'll, you know, they'll get caught up in that lift that the mountain naturally creates. And then usually the clouds will not sink down to the floor right here. Uh, they'll just be right above us. But today, man, it's been sinking down to the floor. To the flow, to the flow. At the next traffic lights, turn right. right here, turn right? left onto yeah. Brownie Lane. Snow Summit straight ahead. This is awesome. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, so uh, we're on Brownie Lane right In now. a quarter mile, turn right onto Moon Ridge Road. Our back, uh, our back streets, we want to avoid Big Bear Boulevard, but we don't necessarily have to avoid it right now. But this is just going to be faster to get where I need to go. And then I'm in the other room now, you guys, at the hotel, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to you guys checking it out. At the next stop sign, um, gonna, turn right. I'll upload that video in the next couple days since I'm going to be there for a few days. I want to inundate you guys with that while we're doing the snowstorm. Um, yeah. I really hope you guys dug that last video. Man, I'm telling you, that 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 guy, Sahil, just, what an angel, dude. The guy is amazing. I love that guy. I love that guy. At the stop sign, turn right onto Moon Ridge Road. Yeah. Just, you know, I, I haven't encountered any shady bone in that guy's body yet, so... Just, I'm not feeling around. <laughs> in one mile, turn right onto Moon Ridge Road. Yeah, I'm not, there's, there's no, yeah, the guy's just genuine. And uh, I go way out of my way for the genuine people, man. Way out of my way, because we need more of that. And we need more people to be, uh, you know, not, not, too, not too scared to be like that. You know, the guy doesn't put on any type of a facade or nothing. It's, he's just an angel. But yeah, so look, we're getting, it looks like it's trying to clear up over here. And we're on Moon Ridge Road. Uh, that's, okay, so when, this, when the sun pops through like this, when we're getting snow, try to avoid looking at the snow directly when you get a little snow popping through. into upper moon ridge right now guys like way up high so this is going to be awesome to see what it's like up there uh we're coming up here okay so one of my favorite sledding spots guys it's a place that you don't pay you just have to, to find a spot turn right here right, right at the big bear zoo the street's called club view you want to turn right there and go all the way turn right onto moon ridge road um it'll dead end um basically you'll come up to bear mountain on the left hand side and just pass bear just stay on the right and just pass bear and it's about a quarter mile up uh you'll dead end in three quarters of a mile turn left onto sand canyon road it's a pretty phenomenal spot to be honest here's the golf course obviously but yeah so the the higher up we climb over over here i'm anticipating that that we're really going to get socked in but that was crazy. Right when I left the hotel just now, it, it was, I, you know, you couldn't even see the damn cars in front of you. It was that bad. Not because of heavy snow, but because of the snow mixed with uh, just inundation of clouds. Just loads of clouds at, at the floor, floor level. So. All right, so uh, I forgot what street this GPS guy wants me to turn on, but we're gonna we're gonna do it, whichever one he wants. I like it here. I like it a lot. So yeah, you guys. Uh, as I said in the previous video, it looks like we're only gonna get like one to three inches out of this. Um, if you guys go back to my prediction, uh, it's, this isn't over yet. But knock on wood, knock on wood, we're freaking golden, and uh, we'll, we'll be. Turn left onto Sand Canyon Road, then turn left. The upper ends of Moon Ridge. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Turn left onto Sand Canyon Road, then turn left. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, look, there's a blue sky up there. Very cool. Turn left onto Sand Canyon Road. But we don't want blue sky. Okay. In 
half a mile, is, turn left onto yeah, Teton Drive. On this street, this is another sledding spot. This is this is probably my all-time favorite. It's harder to get to though. This whole gully in here it usually gets completely covered with snow. And then when you, you, you go down in there, when you're uh, sledding down one side, you, you're not gonna run into any cars and stuff. And then it slows you down because you immediately start going uphill again. There's a lot of these gullies in, in, in between the streets and the neighborhoods up here. like like. Like right here, this is exactly, this is the street. So I believe- In a quarter mile, turn right onto so, Teton Drive. Hey, look, look at this, this whole gully area. You see that big, that big like uh, slope right, right in the middle here? Here, you know, let's just go over here a little bit so you can see. This whole area runs all along this whole area. And look at how safe it is and it's steep so the kids can have fun. Guys, that's a good spot, man. That's a good spot. And as I said, like your, your, your kids will be safe. That's the cool thing. That's the important part. That's the important part, man. Hang on. Yeah, this goalie is awesome, you guys. And as I said, it goes all the way up this street. Turn right onto Teton Drive. And the destination is on your left. Hey guys, sorry about that. So we just turned up that street called Teton just to kind of cut through. Now we're going to head back. Uh, this is a street. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. 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 They don't know. Nobody know. How do you not know? Well. Hey, how am I supposed to know if you don't know, huh? Huh? Come on, you freaking witch of wipers. Don't go crazy on me here. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, we're back to getting sleep. And it's 29 degrees up here. But we were getting heavy sleep down below. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm done taking this sleep. I want some more snow. I'm sick and tired of this sleep. Man, it's pretty sleety. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's we go. I know where we're at now. I know where we're at now. We're good. Look at how adorable that place is. Man, a lot of, look at these. Just cute as can be these little places, man. <sighs> God, I, I, I want to raise kids and it's like, dude, it's crazy, man. I'm not getting any younger. <sighs> Just so stupid. So stupid. I'm missing out on the greatest gift that we're ever given on this planet, which is children. But it is what it is. Uh, with the few fiancés that I've had, it's a great thing that the marriage has never actually came through. Um, yeah, it's very dysfunctional, very unhealthy. Um, yeah, <laughs> no bueno, man. All right, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna be cutting through. Oh, we're not gonna cut through anywhere, actually. This is, uh, if you make a left right here, you're gonna go to Bear Mountain to the left. But we're not going that direction. You can see the snow let up quite a bit. And now uh, the sleet's picking back up. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I hope my friend isn't watching, but I, I tell you guys everything. So um, I have a good friend up here and uh, never met his family. But uh, his daughter, apparently, I guess works at the fireside. And I was dealing with her and I had no idea that it was her. Like, I, it was just su such a trip, so small world, but she's cute. <laughs> That's what I don't want you guys to tell my friend. Uh, I don't want to get my butt kicked, but yeah, she's she is freaking cute and very smart too. Like, I was like, what? Cute and smart. Is, is, does that is that real? Does that happen? <laughs> so, anyway, hang on. All right. I keep on having to stop the video because my my hand keeps on touching the screen, and then it creates a, like uh, where my hand touches, the screen wants to like zoom in or like focus in better on that one little area instead of the whole picture. So then I have to turn it off, and start it again. But yeah, so this is gonna be a nice little run through through Moon Ridge, bro. Yeah, dog gonna be doing them over as well. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. All right, uh, 
what street is this? I always forget. I think it's like Sahuro. No. Silver Tip. Silver Tip. Sahuro is to the left. Once we get up here to uh, another street, we're going to make a left. Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting the name of this street coming up here? What a loser. What an absolute loser. Okay, um, what is this dang street? Villa Grove. I knew it before I saw the sign. Yeah, I'm not a bad liar. I, I, I tell you guys though, I know what the street is, I just forgot it. I just forgot it. It makes me so sad. I make me so sad to do it like that, huh? You make me sad. I don't like it to be sad. I don't like it to be sad. Unless I'm eating the eating of the, the spaghetti. No sad when I'm eating spaghetti. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. No, seriously, I just there's just so many adorable little houses around here, man. Like I think I've ridden around maybe two or three times total the whole time that I lived here. Because I don't have any friends really like well i've got a couple friends yeah but they're really really busy too and yeah it's just it's just always work man it's, but uh yeah i i don't really ride around much so i don't get a chance to really see what's up here because i'm always driving by it it's it, it's strange the few times that i have been a passenger up here i notice every time so many things that i never knew were there it's the weird it's it's, it's the coolest thing so I need to start exercising again, getting back into shape, because I know I got a lot of a lot of muscle memory from the past, and I just need to just get all that squared away and get back in shape and start hanging out more, doing more things out there, uh, and just all the working out and the jogging and stuff. That's going to be great because I'm going to be able to see see this beautiful town and really really see a lot more of it. Um, because you know, I'd kind of like to know everything about my town. And whenever there's an opportunity to, to, to become educated a bit, I find that to be paramount when it comes to, uh, to what I'm trying to do for you guys up here. You know, originally all this was was just to record the snowfall and that's it. Just to record it, um, like not resorts or this or that, like uh, or restaurants. So I'm not, yeah. But hang on, you guys. All right, guys. Just wanted to skip a little bit because it wasn't really doing much. But now we are definitely in the depths of Big Bear City, almost down to uh, Sugarloaf. And then about 250 yards past Sugarloaf, you will hit Highway 38, which is one of the one of the big ins and outs of our town. One of the big ways in and out. Come on, ambulance. Oh, come on, man. Jeez. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys are like, God, what a jerk. He's getting mad at the ambulance, the guy who's saving lives, or the girl who's saving lives. Like, jeez. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I'll be that in Buddha, aka LOB, A LOB, that's what they say one time. Southside, that's right. All right. But if you love what you do, do what you feel, and you know, you're gonna mark my words. I got like birds, it's about time that I get served. Alright, sorry, that's my little ludicrous there. That was pretty ludicrous, but it was ludicrous, so it was ludicrous. Alright, you guys, sorry about that again. But now we're back on Big Bear Boulevard, uh, and I wanted to show you guys that it, is, it looks like it's clearing out, but this is gonna be, we're, we're gonna be completely covered in clouds in five minutes again. You don't even worry about that. But uh, yeah, man, go go listen to me uh, once again, saying like, uh, I I bet we might get like an inch. <laughs> I was like one to three inches max, but I wasn't even too sure we would, we would get close to that three. But then when they kept on keeping the forecast like that, uh, even as we got up within 12 hours of the event beginning, uh, that, I started to kind of doubt myself a little bit, but once again, it's not that I'm smarter or anything. It's just, I'm, I look at the same radar that these guys look at and you just hit a button and it'll show you what it's going to do in the future and what it's been doing in the past. And then you, it shows you how fast, the, how fast the storm's moving. So for me, it's, it's like kind of shocking how they're so wrong all the time up here. Um, Cause if my if little old me can, you know, get this right and I don't even have all the
technology. I just, I just, you know, look at what they do, and I make my own judgment call off of that. Even though it really shouldn't be too subjective, you know. Like if if there's heavy rain, then there's heavy rain. If there's heavy, you know, what I'm saying that's uh, that's objective. At least it, it should be. Um, but I guess weather could be subjective because I think a lot of snow is a lot more than a lot of uh, is is well less than all, all, you know a lot of people would think. I think like like two feet's a lot of snow. If I was talking to people from Mammoth, they would be like, "Bro, when we get two feet of snow, they refer to that as a frost advisory." <laughs> like they get so much snow up there. And here's where I want you guys to go pay and play. Big Bear Snow Play. Right on the corner of Division Road and Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. Please check it out. Amazing place. It's fun. They have a conveyor belt that pulls you up to the top. It's like a, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a moving walkway, just like you have at the airport. It's the same exact thing, but it takes you up, so you don't have to walk up the hill and just, you and the kids can have a ton of fun. Where uh, The only, the only set, like, not great thing about this thing pulling you up is if you have kids that were like me, uh, pretty rambunctious, uh, you're gonna wanna take as much energy out of them as possible. And, uh, but this will be a lot more fun because they're not gonna have to constantly walk up and down the mountain to, to get up to the top. So, um, and nor will you guys, all my older people like me, like me, all you old bastards. Some of you are so old, I'm afraid to ask you to act your age because you might die. <laughs> what? Like, how dumb is that joke? I used to love like all those mama jokes and stuff and like uh, just, like, man, I had, I had freaking days of those jokes, man. I had days of them. But uh, yeah, I don't even know why I went there, but, but I did. And I'm sorry. Alright, so usually right when we come around this bend right here, it's like the most beautiful view up here. A lot of people who come up Highway 38 and haven't really been here much or don't remember this, like you, you can't see it right now, but right now, right there you would start seeing Snow Summit, all the all the freaking runs and everything. It would just, just looks so so beautiful usually right there. Um, but yeah guys, this is what we got so far. There's not really any accumulation, so but hang tight, give me a second. All right. Now we are on a street called Crustwood. It's kind of behind uh uh, behind or in front of Snow Summit. Basically, we are, I think, one little tiny street down from Summit Boulevard. Maybe two. Maybe two. But we're gonna see. I just want you guys to get this update from when it started snowing heavy earlier. You guys know what I do. This is what I do. Any any, any significant changes? The last few storms though, we haven't had any like really like heavy on and off, on and off, on and off. It, it hasn't like completely shut off, um, nor has it just completely lit up or just, uh, just dumped. So I'm hoping we end up getting something good guys, but this is not looking too promising at the moment. And I just checked the radar again. Um, Seriously, what a bonnie, man, what a bonnie. Okay, it's no summit to the left. This is Summit Boulevard right here. Oh, my neck is hurting. Oh, my neck and my back. Oh, my neck and my back. Oh, God. No oh, boy. My neck and my back are really sore. Oh, Yogi. I need a massage on my neck and my back. <laughs> <sighs> So strange. I am a strange, a strange person. It's so okay. Oh man. I would usually shut it off when we're at a long light like this, but I want you guys to have the full experience. And I know this is this isn't the full experience. I've shut the dang camera off a few times. But uh yeah. I just want you guys to experience it. And watch, the, the further we go this way, back to the hotel, you're gonna see uh, more snow. We're gonna be we're driving, in, driving into, yes. Well, yes we are, certainly driving into more snow up here, you can see for sure. And then, uh, yeah man, I'm gonna start doing like you guys have asked, every restaurant in town. Um, and what I'm gonna do 
and I'm nervous to do it because I know what I like. I, as a youngster, I was very open-minded with food. Um, as an adult, I guess I still am, but uh, what I'm gonna do at all these restaurants that, that we start to record at, you guys, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna order the signature dish. That's it, from every restaurant. Um, I'm just gonna say it here. You know, prepare me something that you want a bunch of people who come up here to see that you would be proud of. And I'll just have them prepare for me the best, the best they get. Yeah, the best they get them. Oh, Brian, you know the kind, Brian. So uh, yeah, well, right when we pass this light, Georgia, it's gonna really intensify. Watch this, <laughs> this is crazy. Boom, here we go. Driving into the snurricane. It's a snowricane. It's snowing, snowing today. I'll be snowing. <laughs> That's little Johnny Mathis right there, you guys. Uh, yeah, so we are we are in the general Big Bear Lake area, heading into the touristy part of town, uh, which is the fun part of town, and it's where all the cool people are, because you guys are the cool ones up here. When you guys come up here, that's when this town is freaking cool. When you guys make it up here, that's when I love. It. That's when this town is technically a cool place. Otherwise, it's yeah, it's chill. But you guys make the experience so great, even for us, you know? I get to do things like this for you guys. I get to help people try and, try and stay safe. I get to I get to do these things. And what, a, what an absolute blessing and an honor. So anyway, there's the lake over here. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And here's the fireside lodge. We're turning this, turn up in this bee. This guy behind me better slow his buns down. I'm gonna have to open a can of uh, a whoop little car. All right. We are back. We're back in the cell again. We're back, 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 back. All right. We are right up there, room 15. It's a suite. Uh, yeah, and I'll be giving you guys the footage of the room in the next couple days. But anyway, look at that spanky bear or <laughs> sparky bear. <laughs> oh, what a spank. All right, guys. I love you guys a lot. March 15, 2021. Big Bear Lake, California. We are expe we're experiencing some snow right now. Um, I don't anticipate much more, to be honest. I think we, uh, I think best scenario, guys, we might get an inch of snow. That's it. So there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing left. I don't think. I don't think we're going to get much. It's going to continue throughout the, uh, the early evening, but that's it, I think for accumulation. I hope I'm just being a negative Nancy. I love you guys. <laughs>